Welcome back to Arizona Daily Mix. Remember the days of your first college dorm or your first apartment room, or if you're living it like me, children? It's a little difficult when you're dealing with tight spaces to make it a little more personalized. But joining us now is an expert, Barbara Kaplan. She is the creator and founder of Barbara's Picks. Nice to have you with us. It's my pleasure to be here. So you're dealing with this small space. You really want to make it about you. Why is that so important? Well, it's important because your environment has to feel good. If it feels good, it is good. And in an environment where you're new, where you're having new experiences, you're growing, you're away from home maybe for the first time, you're living with a stranger possibly, right. um, it's important to have some things that are comforting to you, that feel good and make you more relaxed and put you in a, in a frame of mind where you can learn mm -hmm. and be social so that you can meet new people. And sometimes you're dealing with a room that has just a bed, just a desk, maybe an armoire, and you want to really make it a personality that speaks to yours, yes, right? So how absolutely. do you go about doing that? Well, first of all, that's a great canvas. And uh, then we can start with looking around and seeing what colors do you react to? What makes you happy? What are the designs that will make uh, you feel that it belongs to you? Do you have a dog at home that you would like to think about that you want to have a little replica of? Sure. Of course, picture frames are a wonderful way to do this. Having little snacks that make you uh, feel like this is a personal space of yours. One of the things that I like so much, if you're going food shopping, and you probably don't do that a lot, right. but if you're passing by and you see a bud, have a little vase in the room, something like this, where you can just put a little flower there and put it by your bedside. Or this could be by your bedside too, when you go to sleep at night, having a drink, just things that comfort you, that make you feel like you're being taken care of. Having just gone through this just a couple of weeks ago, I know that you on a budget, it's a little difficult, Absolutely. but you have some items here that go from one extreme to another. Yes. Where you can be cost effective when you're yes. trying to be, uh, you know, personable with your room. Absolutely. It's about fashion and it's about function. So the things that I have here are from two different stores. Mm -hmm. One is in the pink and they have beautiful items, reasonably priced. And then the other is from a second look, which is a second-hand store, so that you can combine this. Some things are a little more money, not too much more, and others are very, very reasonable. So don't no be afraid to shop difference. around. Absolutely, and see what speaks to you. The pieces that are here are just an example. It's what speaks to you as you walk around. What would you like to take home with you? And so what do you suggest are the most important things that um, your students should have in their room that you maybe just do not want to go without. Well, certainly there's function that has to happen, right. and there's so much electronics that are going on today. So you do want to have a core, uh, a uh, you know, enough outlets mm -hmm. and get a, a, a strip cord so that you can take care of that aspect of it. And then you can make it look good with all the other things that you bring in. Like some of these items that we're some talking about right items, here. Some of these items. Most of the things that I brought are not that functional unless you want to consider a candy jar functional. Um, I do. What do and you do if you have um, somebody in your room, whether it's the apartment room or the dorm room, that has a completely different personality from yours yes. without looking at an invisible line when you look Right, the room. right. Well, first of all, that's okay because there are two different people, so you're expressing yourselves separately. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's a good relationship so that you can talk about this. It's about communication. I always like to say one and one equals three in a situation like that. And maybe you can create a look and a style that is unique to them, and they can express that that way. Wonderful. Quickly, you have an event coming up in October. Tell us about that. Yes, we do. We have Barbara. Uh, Scottsdale Design and Lifestyle Luxury Market and we invite you all to come and meet and greet our vendors and I'd like to also tell everybody that the most important thing that people have to remember mm -hmm. is rooms have no feelings you do very important okay so folks can go talk to the experts get yes. some great ideas you are always a wealth of information well Thank I'm you. always there giving a lecture and giving private consultations at those events also all right you're the and best it's all free of charge great even better right mm -hmm. Barbara Kaplan thank you so my much. pleasure it's Barbara's picks.com when we come back what's in your purse you'll find out what we cannot leave home without don't go away